I'm just in the truck waiting for Sophie. All the chores are done. I went and got hay this morning in the snow. And uh, we're just waiting for Sophie because we're going to the grocery store to get some special supplies. We are in the grocery store and we're getting some... Pomegranate. Oh, those are good. Yeah. What's that? Or those. I think these are better. Okay, get one of those. What about this other stuff? Do you think they can eat those? Pomegranates? No, but I can. Get it anyways and we'll see. All right, I think we got all our stuff. Now we need people food. <laughs> Do we need people food? All right, so here's the roast I bought. And then I got potatoes and veggies. And they go in with it and then I brought it. I love this bread, love this bread. Sam's night to make dinner and this is what we're having. I'm excited. As well as bread. He always buys a loaf of bread. Everything he makes, he buys a loaf of bread. I'm still struggling with this camera. It is still a whole thing. Every time I get a new camera, even if it's the same camera as last time, it takes me forever to figure out the, the settings and to get them right. I am not meant for cameras. Anyway, Sam and Sophie went shopping and we are headed down to the barn in just a few minutes because we have a video that was requested and we did it a long time ago. We haven't done it in a long time. So we haven't done it since back at Fiona's barn. I'm just waiting for the girls to get ready. And before I do, I want to pose another scenario for you guys. You guys are so good about answering the last scenario that I posted for you. So I have a new one. A friend was telling me this story about how every time she goes to a, she runs a barn and every time she goes to a horse show, this there's this one dad, there's always this one dad, you guys, there's this one dad who is out there and standing over the end gate, standing at the end gate, and commenting over the end gatekeeper's uh, shoulder things like, oh, does the judge need glasses? Or something like, oh, all those three people that top that place top are in the same barn. Do you think that's suspicious? So the coach has always tried to remind him, we are only here to school the pony. We're only here to do our best. It's not a competition, even though it's kind of a competition. Um, the dad just never gets it. He always has something to say and it's never something positive. So listening to that story, I was thinking like, oh my gosh, how would you handle that? How would you handle that? As I started to read the comments, I realized something completely different. I had such a different take. But first I wanna ask you guys, stop the video and tell me what would you do? So at first I felt her frustration because what the heck would you do? But then as I started to read her comments the comments on the question i saw something that i wasn't expecting someone said that the dad was just in the wrong place because if he were at like a hockey game or if he was at like a football game he would be in the stands with the other men saying all those exact things and they would be the correct things those were those are the things that men say to one another to support their kids and so she said he's just trying to support his daughter the only way he knows how in a man's way and it's just coming off bad it's just coming off bad it's just not women it's just not the way that women do it it's just not the way it's done for riding so so people are suggesting you know like sit him down explain to him what is a better way to encourage her and but what an awesome story like i loved reading that story and seeing that so many different perspectives because there were perspectives of like kick them out of your barn that's not acceptable make them sit in the stands and then a lot of people jumped on that story and were so excited to hear that person's perspective like that was such a beautiful kind perspective and i believe that things like that can happen in every situation we can turn a negative perspective into a positive one all the time if we choose to Anyway, let's go down to the barn. Um, we're doing kind of like a challenge video today. We actually had different plans today. Sadly, the snow canceled our plans. I don't think I showed you guys, but this is Honey's little bucket for grain. I love these buckets. They are my favorite buckets. Sophie picked yellow for her because uh, Honey or Ma, because Penny has pink. So over on Snapchat, where all the drama is, all the drama is on Snapchat, you guys. Um, people are like. Why does Chino have to stay in his stall all day? <laughs> He's not in his stall. The way I film our videos makes it confusing. 
Chino's outside all day with Penny, and then uh, later in the day when it gets like closer to nighttime, we bring them in. Penny goes out there, Chino goes in a stall, and then we have horses that go in stalls as well with Chino. He's never alone. Out in the day and in in the night. And just the way that we film our videos makes it look like Chino's just in a stall all the time. Like there are so many things that happen. If you don't, when you show your life, but you only show like 20 minutes a day, there's so many things that just make it seem like it's different than it is. It's a fun fact, you don't need a halter for honey. She just sticks to you. Yeah, I know, but you needed to halter train her. Just brought the horses in. Whew! <laughs> What else covered in snow. Why so this, gloves in I brought all these gloves because it's cold. There, oh, I found a phone. This oh, is mine. <laughs> Give me my phone. It's fine. Okay. Like Let's bring this bag out to the barn, and we'll show you guys the video we're doing. Gabby's coming. Mm -hmm. What's she doing? In the bathroom. <sighs> we're going in here. More right? hay today. Yay. Oh. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> soaked. <laughs> Everybody soaked. It sucks when everybody's wet. Because I'll get so many comments on this video saying, you worked your horse too much and now they're sweating. <laughs> that happens to us all the time. Penny, come on in here. You've been outside long enough. Come on in. She's like, I want to be with Chino. One thing that we haven't really showed much of, not by for any reason, just like it happens, is that Penny actually loves Chino. Like she loves him. Don't you? She nuzzles his neck and everything. All right, so everybody's gonna have to get a horse. <laughs> I get two horses. Yeah, you get two. All right, so long ago we did uh, fruit and vegetables. What does my horse food? What what horse does my what food does my horse like? Challenge. <laughs> Go away. Yeah, it was so long ago. It was back at Fiona's barn. And we did different fruits and vegetables, and we had like a whole lot of different horses. Get out of my bag, honey bear. Get out. Actually, I think I might put all this up here because I have some. Here, try it. Try it. Do you like it? Don't tell anybody. I gave it to you early. I just want to be really careful with her because I don't know what she can chew. So these are almost all of the treats. We got yeah, some, just, like, so I wanted them to get like a full pomegranate because actually horses can eat the whole pomegranate. We also have apples and oranges. So this is it, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, um, and a pony eating bag. nine, ten different things that the horses can have. Get out of there. Gracie, go, go. Apparently, Chrissy loves <laughs> celery. You're matching. All right, so we have them all in a row. This is it. Smallest to biggest. I got the smallest. Yeah, you got the smallest. Okay, so we're gonna start off with something that we already all know that they like. Let's see who likes the most like things. Here, Take one. just yeah, and give it. Uh, just give her a little piece yeah. because just a little bite. One of her baby bites. Willow still takes baby bites. We might have to bite it for her and give her a little piece. Okay, well, we'll let you have a bite out. She's like, I want it though. You know, perfect piece for you. Good girl. Good All right, yeah, give the rest of it to her. All right, and then we'll do Gracie. Oh, shoot. All right, so Gracie got hers. Penny Pickle. We have too many horses. We need like everybody on deck to hold them. Penny liked hers, Gino over here with his head down. Look, he looks smaller than Penny almost. All right, so apples were a hit, you guys. Look at that. I love that. Okay, so the next, the next one is carrots. So we're gonna give the- This for honey. That little tiny one for here, honey. Here. She hasn't really had very many she likes treats, but she likes it. Willow also likes Willow it. Willow likes it. Everybody waiting their turn. Penny licking her lips. Penny is not waiting. Oh. Girl. And then Penny Pickle. And then Chino Bambino. Everybody done? Penny's the only one licking and chewing. She's like, I remember this, although she wasn't here for the original. The first time we did this, the only horse that we had at that time was Storm. And Stella. And Stella. She's so excited. 
Okay. She's just like me. Here's a big one for Willow. For Willow. You like cucumber? Mm, Honey, wait this your is turn. green. Some horses don't like green. Gracie's like, I'm waiting. Okay. Honey's turn. Honey's turn. Oh no. Wipe it off, yeah. I hope she likes it. Yeah. We should have maybe just put turn. them all on plates. Since yeah, we should have done that. All on different plates. Right, she likes it, she likes it. Chino over here with his head hung down low. He's like, I've been wet outside. <laughs> All right, so far, so good. All right, the next one is uh, the grapes. So we're gonna do grapes. We're not doing tomatoes. Make sure if you do this with your horse that you check and make sure that horses can eat this stuff because they can't eat the tomatoes and they can't eat the cheese stick, the dairy, or the bread. Well, I guess they could eat bread. She's so excited. Who's that for? Willow? That's for Willow. And then we're just giving. Honey's like, can I steal? We're just her? giving Honey the tiniest little piece. What do you guys think? She loves everything. <laughs> They're mares. Do you guys remember in the last video? Comment below. Who was the pickiest eater out of the whole group? We had a. We did this video with a bunch of friends. It was Storm, wasn't it? Storm. Don't tell them. Yeah, I just want to see. It's a grape. Chino fits right in with the mares. <laughs> they eat anything. Gabby says Chino wants the watermelon. So we're gonna do a watermelon. <laughs> they know. They are looking at me. Okay. You gotta break it in half for honey. Break it. She, they wanna follow me. Hurry up. Take a bite. Oh, oh. <laughs> she might be able to eat a whole piece of that because it's soft. There's a tiny piece. Oh. She's like, that's yucky. <laughs> All right, so we have the first refusal and it's from a baby. All right, Gracie girl. She's like, I love it. Penny pickle. Penny likes watermelon. She knows waiting. Great. Penny's like, get away from my food. Chino says, give me my food. Chino says, give me my food. Yeah, Gabby, Gabby wanted the watermelon. That's a, yeah, they're like really like sucking that one back. So only one refusal so far. All right, so next is oranges. Honey's She's like me. Can you break it apart yeah, for her? Here, just a little tiny piece. She's like, I don't think she likes it. Well, she's eating it. She likes it. And Willow. Well, so far, so good. I was like, this is the best free treat. Yeah. Grace is actually like, she gets it. She's like, I'll just. Anything. I know. So far, so far, all good. Chino, the horses are getting a little bit more rambunctious now. Everybody is happy. They are loving this challenge. So I think we're gonna go to something green now. Let's do some more green. Because the storm in the last video was not interested in the green at all. All right. Oh! Just, like, give me it. <laughs> yeah. Give me. Still, she likes the green. All right, Gracie likes it. Come on. Wow, she's a pig. I love celery. It's one of my favorites. Everybody, everybody thinks it's good? Everybody likes it. Everybody likes it. All right. Next one up is cantaloupe. I'm just gonna let them take one out. This is, yeah, this is what Storm like. He did not like anything green. He's like, give it to me. Can you get one? Just get one. She has smell as She's smelling it. She's like, um, nope, I'll pass, she says. They can't grab it from there, Mom. Oh, oh, almost. All right, hold on. Here, give Honey one, because I don't know if she likes it. Here, Honey. Here. Oh, shoot. Jeez, Mom, you suck at this. Here. I don't know that she... Yeah, she's Enjoy. like, okay, okay, it's different. I'm gonna I feel like Honey's just so excited to eat anything. Oops. 
Uh oh, somebody dropped theirs. All right, Chino. Good? You want some? No, I don't like them. I love that. All right, Sam wants to do the lettuce. Let's see. We already know that. Just give them one bite. Honey likes it. I washed all this at the house. I like food. Just take a little bite. Good girl. And a little bite for you. Uh, she says, mm. Honey, I could have another bite. I don't think Willow's, Willow Give it to passes. Honey. Give it to honey. Oh, she's like, no. All right, no, but it likes lettuce. Let's see if Gracie will eat it. Gracie. Gracie's like, I will eat that. All right, Penny Pickle. <laughs> she is a pro at taking it as many bites as possible. Go ahead, Chino. Did she? All right, so the minis did not like it. Just... <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, so. Honey's so excited. Honey is two out for two and Willow's out for one. The very last thing that we have here are pomegranates. Did you guys know that horses can eat the whole pomegranate shell and everything? Did you know that honey loves stuff? Did you know that honey's like, I don't trust you anymore? <laughs> She won't. She won't even try it. She's like, nope. Give me funky stuff. Uh, Willow is thinking about it. I don't think she likes it. Yeah, she actually didn't take much from my hand. She wants more treats, but she doesn't like those. Gracie's like, I'll take it. Nope, she doesn't like it. She's, like no, she doesn't. She was, she's spitting them all out. I think she was trying to get more flavor out of it. <laughs> yeah. And Penny likes it. Penny likes it. All right, you know. Mm, this is suspicious, he says. Why does it smell like wine? <laughs> no, he doesn't like it. So really the only one who likes it is Penny. Penny's the winner. She'll eat this. I trust horses though. If they won't eat something, I know that there's like a good reason. Mom, Chino tried it. Did he try it? Yeah. And did he like it? That was way too much. Oh, he's a fussy boy, is he? Because it smells really strong and it hurts your nose to smell it. <laughs> you can have it. All right, well that was fun, you guys. We tried, how many fruits did we try? Ten. Let's get this out of my hand here. We tried 11 fruits and vegetables with our horses. The only one who ate every single one of them was my girl, Penny Pickle. Chino did. Oh, and Chino, Chino ate them all too. No wonder they love each other. Good job, horses. But look at how like fast they learn. They all learned that they're gonna get treats if they just stand there. They don't have to do anything. The only one misbehaving is the baby. But look at the two, the two girls in the middle listening so good. All right, was that fun? We decided for today's video to make it a video instead of a vlog. Gracie's like, I know you got food on you. Back up, sister, back up. Good girl, Penny. Uh oh, Gracie is at the buffet. YouTube is so different now. I miss having videos like this. I don't know, but let's put these all in the bag before the horses get them. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Gracie. Bring fun back into YouTube, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Don't you know that you're beautiful?